Hello, my friends, and today I have the honor of showing off 2024 Tops Big League Baseball cards, a product in which I have a card. We'll talk about it. Here it is, 2024 Tops Big League says for the second year in a row, it arrives as an early season release, taking over the slot once held by opening day, which was shelved in 2023. The product features a lot of colorful inserts and it's a three tiered system. It's a 310 card base set. And the first 200 cards are common. They make up the basic set. And then we've got uncommon rainbow foil, rare blue foil, super rare red and legendary gold foil. We've got all kinds of inserts and it does have autographs. Autographs fall about one in three hobby boxes. And Tops has a checklist available on tops.com. Go to big league odds. You can scroll down, it'll show you how many of each hard to pull card there are and the odds of pulling that card you'll see right here hobby influencer sps there's only a thousand of those and they're one out of 735 so the odds that i pull my own card not good but we're gonna give it a try anyway Woo. all right here we go thanks for joining me if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button hook me up with a like check out the box here become a big leaguer scratch off you win that, you get a card in the following year. We got good vibrations, eight cards per pack, 18 packs per box. I feel like this box shows you a lot more than any other box. And I think these are going to be available in all stores that sell baseball cards. You should be able to get them in at Walmart, Meyer, Target, and who knows where else. Oh, wow. Isn't this fun? Pack number one. And Blake Snell is on top. So that's going to be an uncommon rainbow foil. Check out the design for the year. Pretty standard. This release appeals more to kids. And we got Caminero. Right off the bat, good rookie. We'll separate the good rookies. Joe Hay and his Dodgers uni. Sal Freelick. It's a good rookie. And mascots. There's going to be plentiful mascots. And the design is like a photoshopped version this year. I'm going to be doing a stream. Who knows how long it's going to take. But it'll probably be on Thursday of this week. Wednesday, we're going to do some breaks. And we're going to mix up some of this and Tribute, which come out on the same day. Jordan Wicks, Chris Sale. Good vibrations. This is one of the more common inserts. Key Brian. We got an uncommon. So every pack has something so far. Whether it's an uncommon rainbow foil. I mean, you might get a couple. A couple of unique cards per pack. Kirstad, we'll put them with the rest of the rookies and to the moon. This reminds me of, and there were inserts like this out of Cosmic. Let's see if I have one right here. Check this out. Tops, Chrome, Cosmic launched into orbit and to the moon. They look a little similar, not exactly the same, but the kids love the die cuts. Who doesn't love a good die cut? Logan Webb, rainbow foil on the back. Sabe, we got Lucan Baker, Neto, Michael Harris. Another to the moon. Pretty common. I think it said one in three for the to the moon. And the influencer parallels one out of every two cases, I think it is. One out of 41 boxes. So it's going to be a tough pull. But on Thursday, like I was talking about, gonna stream for quite a while Jason so I hope you join me and all of the all of our friends good vibrations Evan Carter and we got a Matt McLean Byron Buxton on back and it looks like we got another mascot card it's Clark what am I doing with the mascot cards I'm not really doing anything special with them. I'm just set them aside. Jeremy Pena, rainbow foil. I think I should probably leave those on back. Henry Davis, rookie.
and jazz. Looking like a boss. Mauricio. A lot of rookies in here. It's good. Rookies seem to be in the common pile. And look at this. That's something different. I don't know what that is. What exactly is that? TBL 12. Oh, that's a Topps Big Leaguer, and those are one in five. So it's not super rare. Yoshida. Maybe we have to open them like this to not give away that back card. Another to the moon. Zach Gatlin was our uncommon. I'm wondering how many of these rare ones are we going to get per box? It says rare blue foil is one in 18, so we'll probably get one of those per hobby box. Curtis Mead, rookie. Bobby. Dolis Garcia. And I guess if we're lucky, we could get one of the other rare ones. The super rare reds are one in 91, so those are going to be pretty tough. And legendary gold foil is one out of 361, so those are going to be even tougher. There's Mike Trout. Another mascot, Slugger. Ozzy Albies is the rainbow. Oh, Sal Freelich on the back. What is that? Is that another the big league? Wow, those are they're pretty cool, actually. They're all a little bit different, too. It looks like. I kind of like that idea of having each one of the inserts have its own feel, its own personality within the same set. Good vibrations, Ozzy Smith. And a damn B rainbow foil. Chanel. Good vibrations and Spencer Steer. There's Jason Dominguez, rookie. We haven't gotten... And Ellie yet. Bo Jackson to the moon. We got a Luciano rookie. Torkelson to the moon. Will William Contreras. We're getting towards the bottom. We only got two packs left, so. Hopefully we do get our rare. Well, they Marte. What is this? Ah, ha, ha, there it is. The rare blue foil. Let's sleeve them up. Check it out. Kind of, kind of tough to say. It's like a light blue. Almost looks the same. If you didn't know any better, you might think you might just pass it by and think that it was the same as the rainbow foil. Here's an Aaron Judge, green. See how they're all different? I like that. Different designs for the big league with a little fun box. Rainbow foil and the last pack. Thanks for joining me. We're going to be ripping a lot of this in the days and weeks to come, probably. Oh, got a... I'm a big leaguer card. Okay. Are these one in every box? Big leaguer redemption, one in 18. Slamming Sammy. All in all, pretty fun little rip. I think the kids are definitely going to enjoy it. And the chase is on for a lot of different cards. I like, I like the chase. They definitely included a lot of chase cards in here. The only one we seemed to hit was the blue foil variation. 
but there's all kinds of tough pulls and a reason to keep on ripping. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching.